So, what we're going to do, come on and take a look. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the tenth chord. Here's an A minor triad, and if I play it down here, it's got a little darker sound. But I can take the middle note, the third out of that chord, root, third, fifth, and put it up an octave. And there, this is called the tenth, as long as it's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth scale degree. Okay? Now, if you have big hands, you can play that all at once. But never fear, there's something we small-handed pianists can do. We can break up the tenth. If you roll it really quickly, it's called butterflying your tenth. It's kind of a fun sound. You can also play it very slowly, like this. And that's called playing a broken tenth. Um, sometimes pianists might want to play just the root and a tenth above it, up and down the scale. These are called walking tenths. And there's a way that sometimes we can cheat if we could get that tenth that would normally be played with a larger pianist's hands all in their left hand. We can come down and play it with our right hand. There. Or I'm going to take the Gershwin Prelude number two in C sharp minor, and I'm going to start by using my right hand, and then when I get further into it, my right hand's busy up here, I'm going to butterfly the tenths in my left hand. So I'm going to now show some bird's eye views of using the broken tenth in some other pieces and some different rhythmic concepts so we can have a lot of fun with this device. Let's talk about applying the broken tenth to the water is wide. I can do a very simple root fifth tenth fifth. up and down between the root fifth and the tenth of the chord, uh, applying that to that tune, uh, makes a nice sound uh, for new age or contemporary ballad accompaniments. This is my song, Aeolian King.
can apply the broken tenth to a 3-4 beat, such as the tune Emily. In a 3-4 time, you can divide up the left hand very evenly. One, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Or you can play it a little more lilting. Okay, or I'm going to take the 4-4 tune, I can't get started, and kind of swing the left hand, broken tenth, so that it sounds more like 12-8 um, feel. play the broken tenth, especially if you have small hands, don't try and force the note out. I tell people pivot on that middle note like that because we don't want to hurt or injure our hands from straining them too much and it is a big stretch for the small handed pianist. All right, let's go back to our favorite tune, uh, Go Down Moses. Now, I can play broken tense on that and use one of my earlier examples called the one, two, three, moving up the scale. Another fun thing you can do with a broken tenth is it makes a great tango beat too. So I owe this to one of my students who turns most of her tunes into a tango. So here's Go Down Moses. And there you have it. Fun things to do with the broken tenth. See you next lesson. A couple of other devices that are based on the broken tenth I'm going to show you in this video. One idea is in the water is wide, if you're moving from the G chord using a broken tenth, you can either move up for the C major chord or down. That sounds nice. Or if you want to move from G major to C without changing a whole lot of notes, you can play the fifth, third root of the C chord as a variation. Okay, so here's another variation of the broken tenth. It's more of a sound used in pop music. Root fifth, root or octave, back to the fifth, ninth, tenth. flowing sound even eighth note feel there 
This last variation is very pretty. What you're going to do is go root, fifth, root. Think of this as the ninth or the second, the third or the tenth, and then up to the fifth. Very pretty. Um, I want to bring up Fred Chopin again because not only did we get the broken tenth from his nocturnes and other styles of playing the piano, um, I would like to point out that if you have the music for uh, Chopin's Prelude Number no. 3 in G Major, it has a run that slowed quite down, begins like this in the left hand. Much, much faster than that. Here I'm going to throw that in when I have two bars of G. So you can see there are lots of variations with the broken tenth, adding a few changes to it. You can have a lot of fun with that. Thank you, Fred Chopin, for coming up with so many great ideas for the pianist's left hand.